In this video, I show you how to set up pagination in your Rails application. So with any dynamic application, such as the Rails app, you're going to get to a point where you have uh, too many items on a single page. For example, my uh, demo application here, I have uh, 20 different uh, example posts on a single page. Uh, that, in my opinion, is too many. So what I'm going to show you how to do in this uh, demo is um, add the will paginate uh, gem to add pagination to your Rails application. So let's jump in. Let's uh, head over to Ruby Gems and then find search for uh, will paginate, and then you can grab the latest here, gem will paginate. I'm just going to copy that to my clipboard. Go back to Sublime, and then open up my gem file. So down at the bottom, I'm just going to paste in will paginate uh, version 3.0.7 and then save that and let's go back to our terminal and do a bundle install. All right, now that that is done, let's restart our server as well. Okay, so will paginate is actually very easy to set up. If you go to the uh, documentation, you can see the example usage is post.paginate and you can set the page params to page and then set a specific number for the amount of posts you want per page and then in your views you just uh, call the will paginate method and then call that on the posts so let's uh, set that up let's go to sublime and uh, open up the post controller All right where we are looping through all of our posts in the def index um, I'm going to add the pagination method, so dot paginate, and then we're going to throw in some parameters of uh, page, and then params of page, and then uh, add a specific per page attribute, let's say seven posts per page. So let's save that. If we go back and refresh, you can see that the uh, pagination has taken effect already. We have seven posts on this page, but we want to be able to link to uh, the different pages. So how we're gonna do that is in our index view, I'm just gonna add down at the bottom a uh, will paginate call on the posts. So I will do will paginate, paginate at posts. Now if I save that, refresh, I can see at the bottom we now have pagination links. So I can go to page two and you can see at the URL, it's localhost slash posts, um, question mark, page equals two. If I go to page three, page equals three. Pretty awesome, right? So that was very easy to set up. You can also throw in some additional parameters. So for example, let's change the, um, just so we have a large number of pages to play with. Let's make it two per page. So refresh, you can see we have big numbers. So now in our um, index view, let's uh, change a few things. So so we are able to change the previous and the next wording by doing um, previous label, previous label, and I can change this to older, and then next label, I will change this to newer. Save that, go back and refresh. So now we see the newer, or the older and the newer. So what if we wanna change the, um, the way the numbers are laid out? Well, we can do that by um, using the inner window and outer window. So if I do inner window and then set that to uh, one, go back and refresh, you can see it adds one uh, page before the dot, dot, dot. So if I change this to zero, you can see now it's just three and then dot, dot, dot. So I'm gonna keep that as one and then the outer window, I always spell outer wrong window. Let's put that as zero. Go back and refresh. So now you can see there's only uh, one number at the very end. So if I go a few pages up, so if I say um, change this back to zero, refresh, now you can see it's 
the first number, the middle number, and the last. I think I like this probably about two, so it's two on each side. That looks pretty good. Actually, two might be too much. Let's try one. There we go. So this is all good and great, but it doesn't look the best. Um, obviously, you would either want to add some styling of your own, and you can search in the Chrome uh, DevTools if you are using Chrome or whatever uh, development or whatever browser you are using. But if you are using Bootstrap, let's go back to RubyGems. Uh, if I search for will paginate uh, Bootstrap, uh, let's go to the home page. There's an integrated gem that will automatically use the Bootstrap uh, pagination for the uh, will paginate gem. So let's, uh, let's try installing that. I'm gonna grab the latest Go up to my gem file and then below will paginate. I'll just add the will paginate bootstrap. Go back, do another bundle install. And since I am already, um, well, let me uh, restart my server first. Since I am already using bootstrap on my application, I believe all I need to do is change the will paginate call in our view. So uh, will paginate, and then I'll say uh, change the renderer to bootstrap pagination rails. And I believe that should be good. Let's go back, refresh. Perfect. So as you can see, let's uh, change it to, um, go back to like seven. That's a good number, in my opinion. So as you can see, uh, pagination is a must have for uh, a dynamic uh, web application and uh, Will Paginate makes it super easy to uh, set that up. All right, guys, that is all for today. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or anything, uh, just hit me up on Twitter, at McKinsey Child. If you wanna follow along for more, hit that subscribe button below, or uh, find my newsletter on my website at mckinseychild.me. All right, see you guys next time.